going live, baby. We're going live. We're live. Here we are. How's it going, everybody? It's Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. How are you doing today? Welcome to Thursday, May 31st, the end of the month. Unbelievable. Uh, I'm just going to mute my phone. How are you guys doing today? Uh, nice to have you here. Uh, welcome to the show, Traveling with Bruce, the daily edition, uh, 5 o'clock show. We're doing an 8 o'clock show tonight, too. Trivia. I've got trivia questions tonight, 8 o'clock. Uh, you better, you, you, no cheating, but you're going to need help. Nah, I'm, I'm, you're not going to need help. You're going to be fine. Uh, you guys always do well on my trivia questions, uh, but uh, welcome to the 5 o'clock show. Uh, I want to say hi to Nurse Nancy. I just saw Nurse Nancy pop in here. Uh, that's a newbie. How you doing, Nurse Nancy? Welcome to my channel. Uh, I invited you earlier to pop by and say hi, and I'm glad you made it. Um, shout out to everybody out there, uh, all my regulars, of course. They're all signing in right now and saying hi to me here. Uh, and a shout out to you guys who are brand new, who've never been here before, uh, or first timers. Welcome to my channel. We love talking about cruise ships, cruise deals. Cruise vacations, ports of call, uh, ships being refurbished, uh, deals, uh, new changes, uh, you name it. Anything to do with cruising to satisfy our cruise ship addiction, this is the place. Uh, if you're addicted to cruising, you've come, you're home. <laughs> you're with the peeps. You're with peeps that love talking with you about going on a cruise. Um, I love talking about uh, traveling in general, just whatever you want to talk about. And, of course, you can ask me anything you want. Uh, I'm more than happy to do that. Look at my shirt today. I've got on one of my uh, Traveling with Bruce shirts today. got my logo right here, TWB, little little thing there. And this is from St. Thomas. And this is a photo that I took with my wife. Uh, so those of you who don't know, uh, no one's ever seen my wife. Uh, she's kind of an invisible person. She looks exactly just, just to kind of help you out, she looks just like Jennifer Aniston, uh, you know, when Jennifer was in her prime, you know. Uh, although she still looks okay today, uh, Jennifer Aniston, I mean. Uh, Jen, my wife, Jen, who we nicknamed Jen, she looks great all the time. Uh, she and I were on a holiday in St. Thomas. We were on this ship right here, Explorer of the Seas, the Royal Caribbean. And uh, we were in St. Thomas on a beautiful Sunday, and we were the only ship in the whole port. Uh, the only cruise ship, and uh, we took the cable car ride to the top of the uh, lookout up there, and I took a couple of photos, a bunch of photos actually, and one of them really turned out nicely was this one. <laughs> so this one has been put on this t-shirt with tra the Traveling with Bruce collection, uh, and it's available for purchase in 17 colors, men's and women's sizes, you name it. Hoodies are available, sweatshirts available, whatever you want. You can even get a coffee mug with this logo on it or travel mug or whatever you want. Just go to my Redbubble store. If you go to my homepage, Traveling with Bruce, the one with the banner on the top of it, right over here are logos. And there's a logo there for Redbubble. It's a far right. You click on that. You go to the Redbubble store. You can look at all the different logos that we have available for shirts now. There have got to be 15 different logos now. This is one of them where it says St. Thomas on the top, and you can grab one of these. If you want this same picture without any wording, where it just doesn't say anything and there's no logo, I have that available as well. Just want something that looks generic. Uh, any purchase you make on Redbubble, I get a uh, commission for that. That helps fund my channel. Thank you very much and enjoy. So a number of you have been sending me uh, posts and uh, messages and pictures of your merchandise that you've ordered uh, when, you, when you've been receiving it, and I love it. Uh, it looks great. The coffee mugs look great. The uh, stickers are great. Hoodies, T-shirts, uh, uh, I think someone even ordered a clock. So fantastic. Check it out if you have the time, and thank you for all your support. I love it. Uh, what else is going on? Oh, I made my first commission on Amazon. Uh, Peter Heckema uh, is the man. Uh, thank you so much, Peter. Uh, I mentioned this a couple of days ago. I just started an affiliate link with Amazon.com to help raise money for this channel. And the good folks at Amazon accepted me as an affiliate member. I, I think I'm known as, as an associate. And I'm allowed to uh, display links to any item I want or Amazon in general. And on the, uh, on the description of the videos that I now make, and some of them I've made before, I've started altering my descriptions and adding in this link to Amazon. And if you want to help support my channel, uh, if you're already an Amazon.com shopper, piece of cake. Uh, just come to my, my channel here. 
any one of my videos, uh, go to the very bottom of the description. You'll find the link to Amazon. If you actually, if you touch it, you actually hit it, it'll take you right to the Amazon homepage and shop until you drop uh, and it costs you no different. Uh, whatever the deals Amazon has, there's a commission built into all those prices for affiliates. I'm now an affiliate and Peter Heckema, the man himself, picked up a uh, pack of 12 batteries the other day he let me know he said i just ordered 12 batteries tell me if you get a commission on this and uh, sure enough i got a report the next morning telling me that uh, an order had been made for 12 a 12 pack of batteries and uh, uh the next morning well, the, this morning first thing i looked at my new report and overnight uh it had been shipped and i had been credited 54 cents American money too. Don't forget that helps me up here in Canada. Uh, Fifty-four American cents have come my has come my way. It's four four and a half percent of the value of the item. Um, that would have gone to somebody. Uh, I don't know who it would have gone to, but in this case, it came to me as an affiliate, and I thank you. It doesn't matter what you buy. The commissions vary from one percent to seven or eight uh, percent. I don't care. Uh, whatever you want to get, get and. Um, and if you can link me in on that purchase, that would be fantastic. That's a that's a way for you guys to help me without having to even do anything. It's fantastic. Just carry on. I'm looking at adding other uh, links, uh, other affiliate links. I'm thinking about Walmart. I'm thinking about, I'm going to look into Costco. I'm not sure if I can do an affiliate link for Costco, but if I can, I will, because I know some of you are Costco members. Uh, I'm thinking about eBay. Um, and uh and and i'm open to suggestions if there's any uh, any outfits out there you guys love to shop on 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 dot com sites and you think i should be an affiliate for that so you can support me let me know i'll i'll apply for an affiliate link and i'll just add them to my list it doesn't matter and uh thank you one and thank you all for that and then the last thing i'll mention is uh uh, funding has been coming in uh, from time to time from uh, from uh, super chat donations, which happen here live on the show, and also uh, PayPal donations, which are my preferred method. If you if you are interested in sending me a donation, please do it through PayPal. Ninety three percent comes my way, and it's instantaneous. You can do it twenty four seven anytime you want. And I thank all of you who've helped me and Jen. Uh, do that. We are plotting a trip to uh, Coeur d'Alene uh, this weekend. I'm not sure if it's going to be Saturday or Sunday, but there's a Costco in our future. And uh, well, you know, Jen needs a hot dog and I want to get me a chicken bake. So thanks for all your contributions to help us fund those trips. Those fun days out of the house. It's my one day away is Sunday is when I get out of the house for a little bit. And I'm looking forward to that. Um, the channel, this channel, uh, yesterday we had 2,096 subscribers. Right now, 2109. We blew through 2100 last night. We're at 2109. I want to give a special hi, hello, shout out, and thank you. Uh, to, <laughs> that's a lot, isn't it? Cruise Tips TV. I want to say hi to the to the uh, folks at Cruise Tips TV. Uh, they were on live last night, and I popped in there and said hi, and uh, they said hi back, and it was awful nice of them. And some of you were watching the show. And you were saying hi to me on their channel, and which is, you know, I don't like generally doing that, but I said hi back. Um, I just wanted to say hi to them because uh, uh, the uh, the folks, they just got off the uh, Bliss, the Norwegian Bliss, and uh, they were talking about what was going on in the Bliss. I wanted to hear what was going on so that if anyone has questions about the Bliss going forward, I have a little more information I can share and I'll uh, get it from wherever I can if possible. But uh, I want to say hi to those guys. They work very hard on their channel. They work very hard on their uh, on their videos now lives, um, and uh, they have a strong following of, of subscribers. And I think a few of them picked up on the fact that traveling with Bruce was on uh, yesterday, uh, and a few of them came over and subscribed last night. So can't beat that. You just gotta love it. I I would somehow love to do a collaboration with those guys. Uh, even have them on my show for a live hi how are you but uh, as busy as they are it's it's just impossible i mean they're just you know up to here and work but uh someday uh, hopefully we'll make it happen we're all busy as youtubers trying to do what we do but uh, i hope to put some collaborations together shortly with some of the other youtubers and uh, and again i invite any youtubers out there that are watching me if you're in the traveling game and you love talking about cruise ships and what have you 
you want to talk to me uh, on the air live, uh, let me know. I'd love to have you join me. Um, I can do it as easily as having you give me a phone call. And we'll just do a speaker phone deal where uh, I'll talk to you over the phone. And uh, my viewers can chip in with any questions that they have uh, as we go on. So anybody out there wants to do some collaborations with this guy, let me know. I'm open for business. And uh, I'm happy to promote your channel if you're happy to promote mine. And together, we'll just grow on YouTube. I love it. Uh, let's see who's here on this uh, on the on the channel because my messages have been coming in here uh, and I better catch up on who's here. I've got some news today. I've got the question of the day, and that is, tell me, you guys who are you guys who are cruisers, uh, for all those newbies out there, what should be uh, in your carry-on luggage when you are going to board the ship for your next cruise? What should you have on your carry-on luggage? that uh, that is it, without question you have to have it can't not not have it and uh, i've got a list here but i'm curious about your list as well we'll pass on the advice to the world out there and then i've got some updates here on uh, the tokyo olympics i've got an update here on uh, the carlton people and uh, we'll get to that in a minute too so let's see who's here uh, tammy ray signed in today an hour before we went on the air <laughs> let me just bring the camera in a little closer an hour before I went on the air, Tammy Ray said hi to me. I might have to change my hours of work so I don't have to miss so much. <laughs> Hope to be on sometime later. Isn't that great? Uh, it's just the dedication of some of my viewers is unbelievable. Peter Heckema then kicked in here. He said to me, hi, Bruce. After 10 days uh, of off and on rain, we have a beautiful sunny day in Tarpon Springs, 86 degrees and humid just the way I like it. Uh, my Amazon order arrived, and you got your first commission. And it's a thumbs up for everybody. Uh, this is fantastic. Thank you, Peter. And uh, now that you got your batteries and you know it works, now you can really go shopping. <laughs> Any of you out there want to buy a car, do it through Amazon and link me in. Please, please link me in. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I love it. Charles Jordan, hello, Tammy and Peter. Um, Peter Heckema, hi, Charles, Tammy. Peter Heckema, maybe we can do our own show while waiting for Bruce. And these folks started talking to each other. Heather Young, hi, Bruce and everyone. Rainy day in Kentucky. We hit it. We're hitting 68 today. Heather Young uh, laughing out loud at Peter. Charles Jordan, all I can say is we have broken the 200-day mark before our cruise. Six days, six months, 16 days to go, 199 days left. Laugh out loud. Fantastic. It's coming, Charles. Pamela Jordan. Hi, Bruce and everyone. Partly cloudy. 87 here in Iva, South Carolina today, expecting more thunderstorms. Uh, Wes Morrison. Hello, Bruce. 96 here in New Braunfels, Texas. Bruce, you are by far, uh, you are uh, by far have the best live stream of any travel show uh, you are carrying, and your show is informative and entertaining. You should get 3,000 subscribers fast. Uh, Wes, uh, from your lips to God's ears, let the viewers come. Thank you for your kind words. I really appreciate it. I have so much fun doing this, as I'm sure you guys have figured it out. Uh, I enjoy doing the live streaming more than just making videos uh, because it's interactive. It's instantaneous. It's uh, right away. And uh, I'm kind of uh, hoping to attract YouTubers to come and join in. And uh, we'll be able to uh, have a bit of a uh, get together with the, you know, with the viewers from the other channel to this channel and so on and so forth. And we'll just keep building it up. And oh, yeah, we'll hit 3000 in no time and beyond uh, uh, by doing that, I'm sure. Uh, Wendy Thompson, 88 here in Bland, Missouri. Sunny. Hi, everyone. I got my clock. It is in our camper uh, like that. It only needs a battery. Uh, so you've got you've got the clock. You got the uh, traveling with Bruce clock. This is fantastic. Awesome stuff. I love it. It uh, needs a battery. Fabulous. Um, let's see here. Nurse Nancy is here on there. And she said, hi there. Hi, everyone. It's Na it's sunny and nice here in Wisconsin. Nurse Nancy and I have, uh, had a little message back and forth today. She discovered my channel. I think she's just subscribed just recently. And I invited her to come on by. And I'm glad she is here. Fantastic. Um, Tracy Donlop, hi, Bruce and everyone. 89 Fahrenheit with high humidity in Naples today. Rain for a couple hours this afternoon, but now the sun is out. This is in Naples, Florida. Tracy, uh, that sounds great. It's warm, but it is coming up to summer, isn't it? Mary Allmeyer is here. Hi, Bruce and everyone. Another beautiful day in Detroit. And that is deserved. You've deserved good weather up there. Fantastic. Gregory Hartman, 87 in Tampa, sunny for now. Maybe storms later. Yikes. Madison DeMarco is here. Hey, how are you doing, Madison? Uh, Gregory Hartman, uh, go Caps, go. What a game. What a game. 
E. That was something else. Madison says, says uh, last day of school is tomorrow. Way to go, Madison. That's good stuff. Then you can uh, sleep in a little bit and relax and um, help out your uh, sister and look after those kids. That is awesome stuff. Nurse Nancy, hi. First time here. Nancy, this is great. Um, I'm glad you're here for the first time. The gang will welcome you, I'm sure. If you have any questions about cruising, you just let us let me know. If I can answer it on the spot, I will. If I can't, my my viewers here probably can help me right away. D&G Explorers, good afternoon, Bruce. e &G, how you guys doing? That's a YouTube channel. What's going on, you guys? Uh, nice to have you here. Uh, folks, you got to check those guys out if you get the chance. Ruth, uh, uh, Guad Guadarrama, hello, Bruce. Long time uh, way to go with your success. Thank you, Ruth, so much. Welcome back to the show. Ch uh, sea Keeper is here. Hi, Bruce and everyone. Uncomfortably hot, damp, and sticky out there. 88 Fahrenheit in Tequista, California. South Florida, sorry, South Florida. We are better off sitting inside air conditioning. Thumbs up. Yeah, I would say so. Here in Creston, by the way, I'm in Creston, British Columbia, Canada, three miles north of the U.S. border. Uh, it's a. It's just started raining. It's been deteriorating all day. We're going to have some rain overnight, uh, probably 65 degrees and a bit cool, but uh, easy to sleep at night uh, when it's 60 in the house, 65 in the house versus 85. So we do have air conditioning. We just don't want to turn it on very often because we're cheap. <laughs> and we know in Canada, it's only a matter of time. <laughs> <laughs> that cool weather has arrived. Uh, Desi Wagner's here. Hi, Nurse Nancy, she's saying. Uh, Jim uh, Thomas is also here. Hi, all 70 here in Anderson, California. Hi there, Jim. Uh, I'm glad to hear your knees getting better. Jim had a knee operation a couple weeks ago, and he's been working the physio, and it's coming around. It's fantastic. Nancy, uh, Nurse Nancy saying, hi, Desi Wagner. Ruth uh, is saying 94 here in Dallas, Texas. 94, just like Wes uh, saying in New Braunfels, Texas. Getting hot down there, uh, absolutely. Uh, Scott Batchley, hi, everybody. Nice day in Ventura, 68 and sunny. Scott Batchley, hi, Nurse Nancy. Wendy Thompson, hello, Nurse Nancy. Uh, D&G Explorers, the power's out. So what So what to do, clean the house or watch Traveling with Bruce? I guess uh, we, <laughs> we, we know what the answer is. We're here. Fantastic. Nurse Nancy, hi, Scott, Wendy. Uh, Ruth, uh, who, is your, who is your pick for the NHL finals? Uh, personally, uh, uh, you know, I, I, it's such a toss-up between these two teams. It's unbelievable. They're really entertaining. It's uh, This is a fantastic series so far. Uh, excitement galore, uh, drama everywhere. Um, it could go either way. It might go seven games. On the one hand, I'd love to see Washington win because of Ovechkin. Or finally, he finally would get the cup. On the other hand, I'd love to see Vegas win and just break all the records and just destroy all the NHL record books and upend the entire apple cart. Uh, I don't know. I, it's an unbelievable ride. Uh, you know, whatever happens, uh, Vegas right now is playing with what we call house money. I mean, they aren't supposed to be here, and uh, here they are in the final. So they've had a winning season as it is where Washington has got, uh, got something to finish. They have a job to do here, and I uh, kind of pulled for them in a way. So I'm, I'm either or. Uh, Tracy Dunlap, hey, your uh, Amazon commission is a start to your N N Norwegian Haven uh, cruise. That's that's what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> whatever dollars can come through uh, through uh, Amazon will just help fund the channel and help fund uh, help fund uh, Jen and I. And if it can lead us towards a cruise, even better. Uh, we love it. Uh, it all adds up. And we, we take the help from wherever we can get it. Desi Wagner, 90 and sunny today in Chicago. The temps will drop tomorrow. There you go. D&G Explorers, Golden Knights. They love them. Gregory Hartman, go Caps. Tracy Dunlop, hi Nancy. Uh, Wendy Thompson, cards are Cards are playing Pittsburgh today at Bush Stadium. Right on. Uh, Gregory say, Hartman is here. Always pack all medical needs. This is what you got to pack on your uh, your carry-on for a cruise. If you're going on a cruise, here's the recommendation from Gregory. Always pack all medical needs and important things in your carry-on. Also, make sure you have your passport and ID on you and not in your check baggage. Surprised how often it happens. It is uh, disturbingly surprising. Yes, at all times. Peter Heckema, way to go, Bruce, for going over the 2100 mark last night. D&G Explorers, we just booked a cruise on the Bliss in December. Can't wait. Oh, man, that's going to be great, you guys. Gregory Hartman, a ship looks awesome. Uh, Nurse Nancy, love these cruise videos. Yes. Um, uh, Tracy Dunlop, Walmart, Target, Sam's, Wayfair, Overstock, eBay, just suggestions for sites. I know. I shop a lot on besides Amazon. Amazon. Thank you, Tracy. You're We're in the same wheelhouse here. I, 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 hadn't, I didn't mention Target or Sam's. But uh, yeah, Overstock and Wayfair, um, definitely I'm, I'm, I'm going to be adding a number of these sites. It takes a bit of time to do all the forms and 
apply it all. I wanted to make sure that the Amazon link is working. I've now started shooting the Amazon link out on Twitter, on Facebook. If any of you get any of my Facebook uh, postings, share them with your friends. Put a little note in there saying this, help, help Bruce with his channel, shop on Amazon with Bruce's link. That would be great as a favor to you. Uh, and with tweets, I've been getting retweets, uh, uh, people have been retweeting my tweets, which also helps. And uh, anything like that just goes a long way to spread the word out and increase the, the length of the fishing lines that I've got out there to hopefully bring in some sales through Amazon and via other affiliate links. That's fantastic, you guys. Um, uh, let's see, Thomas Henry. Hi, everyone. Hi, Thomas. Um, Gregory Hartman, bathing suit uh, on your carry-on as well. d and Explorers, we'd love to uh, do that sometime, Bruce. Uh, uh, yeah, I'd love to have you guys on the show. Uh, you know, if you guys want to uh, uh, be involved, that would be great. Uh, in my description on the videos, I have my email address just down below. Just shoot me an email. Uh, let me know how I can contact you guys. Uh, we'll have a, I'll give you a quick phone call. We'll figure something out, and then we'll work the logistics. What day are you available? Uh, and that kind of thing, and then we'll just work it out from there. I'd love to get YouTubers on here and uh, uh, show, uh, you know, share uh, share the message with all my viewers, and vice versa. That'd be just fantastic. Ruth uh, said, uh, "Saying Bruce, are uh, you are a rock star now? That's so great to see you having success. Who are you picking for uh, NHL finals?" And I said, "I'm easy going either way. Um, I'm happy, uh, Nurse Nancy, extra undies and a change of clothes just in case your luggage is lost. Exactly." Uh, Wes Morrison, any prescription meds are a must. Yes, absolutely. Any valuables, prescription meds, you must carry them with you in your bag, in your carry-on. Once you're on the ship, you know, once you get on the ship with your carry-on, head to your cabin. And uh, even if it isn't made up yet, it doesn't matter. You can go into your cabin and go to the safe. There's the safe inside your closet there. Put your valuables from your carry-on luggage in the safe, uh, jewelry and whatever. Put your meds in your, your uh, bathroom uh, area there. And then leave the carry-on in the bathroom or, or, or just underneath the bed. And then go and walk around the rest of the ship. Come back a little later. If your luggage still hasn't arrived, your carry-on is there. And if you've brought a bathing suit with you, you can change and head for the pool deck or go for a spa, whatever you want to do. And you're ready to go. Wes Morrison uh, said that. Thomas Henry, 60, 86 Fahrenheit in Richmond, Virginia. 86. Getting up there, Thomas. Uh, humidity, too, I'm sure, right? Peter Heckema, take duct tape, uh, a flashlight suntan lotion and lots of one dollar bills for tips excellent excellent advice uh dng explorers passport cruise line documents seasick pills bingo guys you know it nurse nancy i bring most meds uh in the carry-on and extra treats that might melt like chocolate candy bars to give to the room steward for a little extra sweet treat good plan yeah you don't want to leave that in your your regular luggage because those bags could be sitting on the pier in the 90 degree heat uh piled on top of other stuff you don't want to be doing that don't have any chocolate in there <laughs> nothing that's going to melt absolutely not scott batch you sure would be nice if they would re would would re-monetize you yes scott i'm still not monetized on youtube i'm waiting like many others um i'm trying to find out who is re-monetized and who isn't uh but uh, they tell us out on the outside uh, end of June is is the timing. Another month. Uh, I have at least another month that'll make almost four months of no monetization. That is tough. But, you know, I've been uh, working it now with the merchandise, the Amazon thing, the uh, PayPal donations, Super Chat, and uh, Patreon. I even have a Patreon link, and some folks sponsor me there on a monthly donation. So I try to cobblestone a survival together any way I can. <laughs> Uh, Thomas Henry, I printed some pictures from our recent cruise to Barcelona. I will get them in the mail to you when I'm feeling well again to get to the post office. Oh, fa fantastic. Uh, you can always do that, or you can always send them to me uh, through email. Uh, you know, if you get a digital pictures, pictures, you can always send some email uh, sh shots that way. That would be fantastic, Thomas. Awesome stuff. Uh, cool jazz. Hey, hello, Bruce. Top of the evening to you. 66 here at Overcast in the Apple, in the Big Apple. He's in New York. Cool jazz, welcome back. Nice to have you here, buddy. Tracy Dunlap, medications, passport, cruise documents, money and wallet with important cards, jewelry, bottle of wine, water or soda, if allowed, Call a cell phone and chargers, extra change of clothes, cosmetics. Add your camera to that. Like I said, anything valuable, you got to have it in your carry-on. If there's two of you traveling, you got two carry-ons. 
And even if they're a small suitcase with wheels, good plan, wheel them into your room and put the valuables in the safe and, uh, and you're good to go. Fantastic. If you can't, uh, if you can't leave behind your valuables or, or, or gank it into your room because the steward's got it all mussed up because they're in the middle of changing it over, you have to pull your suitcase with you a little longer, but uh, no big deal. You're, you'll be fine. Within an hour, you'll be able to get in there and you'll be able to drop off your uh, your suitcases. And like I said, put your valuables in your in your vault, excuse me, in your vault, and you're good to go. Wendy Thompson, meds, flashlight, battery, clock, power, strip, change of clothes, and a swimsuit. Good points there, Wendy. Cool jazz. Bruce, is it true if you you skip, uh, your ship skips a port, say, for weather, you can request a credit for that port charge? Um, it's not true. Uh, <laughs> uh, cool jazz. I was on a uh, cruise um, with Royal Caribbean and uh, right here, right on this baby right here, the Explorer of the Seas. And my wife and I left New York, Bay on New Jersey, technically, across the harbor. Uh, we we're on a nine-day cruise, and we we're supposed to be one day at sea, and then we we're supposed to be in Labadee, uh, Haiti. If I recall, it might have been two days at sea and then Labadee. I'm not exactly sure. Two, can't remember. Doesn't matter. In any event, uh, the uh, second day, like the you know, we we got on the ship, had dinner that night, went to bed. Next morning, we're in a blizzard. We're in a storm. We're in a. Uh, uh, what was that called? A, a bomb cyclone. That's what we were in. And it was coming north and we were heading south. And it was 100 mile an hour winds on the deck of the ship because we were going 30 miles an hour this way and the winds are coming 70 miles an hour that way. And nobody was on the deck because it was shut down. It was bad. And um, we had to slow the ship down. The captain had to slow the ship down from something like Oh, 25 miles an hour, 27 miles an hour, down to about 18, because the ship could have continued to power on. Uh, but the problem was uh, the ship had no problem. Well, the ship had, you know, would toss and turn to do it, but we on board would just be just be tossed everywhere. And so the captain eased it up and and uh, slowed it down. But that cost us Labadee, Haiti. We we're supposed to be on the private island or the private resort of Labadee for a day to enjoy all those amenities. We didn't make it uh, the way it was going. We would have been in Labadee at six in the evening on the day of arrival instead of at eight in the morning. And the whole day is gone. We would have got there in the middle of the night. Can't get off the ship and, and you know utilize the zip lines and everything else. All closed off. So the captain basically told us, sorry folks, uh, the storm is so bad. Uh, we've had to slow the ship down. And then what he actually did do is he, sh he slowed it down even more. He slowed it down on the second and the third day. And so we ended up with three sea days, and we ended up with a very smooth ride uh, for those last two days. Uh, going through the last of the storm, the last, like, we, we had 45-foot waves at the worst of it, like, just awful. And real noise on the hull. Like, when we hit, when we went down and then we hit the next wave, we, it hit that hull, and you could hear a slamming sound and then the ripple effect all the way down the side of the ship it was unbelievable first one was terrifying after that you're going oh that's what that is <laughs> anyway uh we we slowed down and for the last day and a half we were down from you know, 30 foot waves to 20 foot waves to 15 foot waves and flying this ship is so huge so it's, it's a almost 1100 feet long that uh once we were down to 25 foot waves not a problem we weren't we weren't rocking and rolling anymore we were slightly slightly moving it would take like a minute for the ship to kind of do this it would take a minute and it wasn't by much it was like four or five or six feet couldn't feel it unless you really were at the front of the ship you could didn't finally be on the bow of it but you're not allowed all the way up at the very very front of the ship anyway so we missed our port of call. And to answer your question, we did not get any refund or any credit or anything. We were, uh, without saying it, they basically said, look, uh, it's a storm. We didn't make the storm. We can't avoid the storm in this case. We got to get you from New York City to Labadee and Haiti and then to San Juan and San Martin and St. Thomas. Um, and uh, we're going to get you there. And we're going to feed you in the meantime. We're going to entertain you in the meantime. Uh, we'll accommodate you in the meantime as best we can. We're sorry about the 100-mile-an-hour winds. We didn't make them. It's just the way it is. 
Uh, and the sooner we get through this, the better. And that's what they, you know, tried to do. Um, and there was a little grumbling, you know, some folks were kind of clamoring for a refund, but none was offered, none was coming. And I didn't pursue the matter. And, um, the rest of the cruise, like I said, the one day was a, was a loss, but the rest of the cruise was fantastic. It was wonderful. San Juan, Puerto Rico, calm, mirror like in the harbor, just mirror like water, nothing. And St. Thomas, look at that picture. Beautiful weather for St. Thomas. We didn't have a cloud in the sky. And St. Martin, gorgeous. And then we had a two day sail from San Juan back to New York. And it was the last day. Uh, we were back into 15, 25 foot waves. Not a problem. Uh, we had been through the 45 footers. This was nothing. We were all hanging out the, the railing, looking at the waves hitting the side of the ship and going, oh, look at that. Man. Look at the waves. Oh, isn't that fun? Isn't that cute? We didn't, we didn't bother us a bit. We were veterans of the sea on the way back, let me tell you, veterans of the high seas. So no, no refunds. Um, if the ship misses a port for technical reasons, like mechanical problems or uh, you know, the ship can't uh, de to deliver the cruise as, as promised. There might be some compensation possibilities, but basically if they get you uh, alive and well on a seven day cruise, uh, you know, back to where you started from or a 10 day cruise or 12 day cruise, doesn't matter. Um, you're not really entitled to compensation. You're, you've been fed, you've been housed, you're safe, you're home. Thanks for coming. Uh, that's the end of that. Paul Wilkes, hi Bruce and all. 83 and sunny and extremely humid here in Virginia. That is kind of normal, isn't it? Uh, from time to time, you get the humidity. Gregory Hartman, I saw that on Don's video about the credit. Interesting. Uh, D&G Explorers, uh, hi, Nurse Nancy. Um, again, you know, like I said, I don't know if you can really put in a claim for a refund. I, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe if you're planning a wedding. Like if there would have been a wedding at Labadee, uh, and the whole thing was blown out. Well, you know, the entire wedding party is on the ship, right? Because in Labadee, you can't you can't drive to Labadee for the wedding. You can't like fly in for the wedding. That's a private everything. So the wedding would have to be arranged, you know, in another way. Now, to me, I would have thought that what the cruise line would have done had a wedding been canceled in Labadee on my cruise, they would have held it in St. Thomas or San Mart uh, San Martin. They would have just reorganized everything for that day. Because the party is on the ship. I mean, they're all, they're there for the whole cruise. Um, and maybe there might have been a refund offered, but they, even then, maybe not, because the wedding will still be provided. It'll just be a day or two later. The bride and groom have to wait a little longer <laughs> to be fully married, I guess. I don't know. Um, but I guess there are some folks who are going to, you know, who would try, uh, but I don't know if they'll be successful. Um, I, I don't. I don't think their odds are very good to get a refund because of that. If it's a, if it's Mother Nature, it's Mother Nature. The hurricanes last year um, in in uh, in um, you know in the Caribbean, uh, Maria and uh, Irma. Those two hurricanes they caused nothing but havoc for everybody. Cruise lines were not offering refunds. Uh, cruise lines at sea were not offering. Didn't have to. They got their passengers back safely. Might have been late, but you got back safely. Whereas uh, cruises that did not leave port. Cruises that were canceled, they did, they did get a refund. Absolutely. They never stepped foot on the ship. They were given a refund, probably given a cruise credit on top of that for a future cruise, and the cruise line helped to accommodate them for the next cruise. They also looked after them for any penalties with airlines, although a lot of airlines stepped up right away and said, we're not going to charge people a, a penalty to cancel a flight because we can't fly you into Fort Lauderdale anyway. The airport's closed. Uh, so everyone kind of banded together, and, and it you know, it, it, it generally speaking, worked out. It, it was inconvenient, but uh, the travel industry got their act together and took care of their business, their passengers, and people rebooked future cruises, and off we go, right? Loves to travel is here. Aloha, 88 here, but feels like 100. This is Kansas, I think. Have you uh, missed me? Absolutely, darling. Where have you been? Went on the wrong yellow brick road and got lost. Finally got turned back in the right direction. <laughs> You weren't in Kansas anymore, but you're back in Kansas now. Oh, thank you. Uh, welcome back. Love to travel. Michelle Lucas is here. Sun and cloud, 66 degrees in Paradise, California. Brrr, as yesterday was 90 degrees, and before that it was 99 degrees. Good weather for roofing, I guess. Uh, yes, Michelle, welcome back. <laughs> Hang in there. Nurse Nancy, wow, I feel so welcomed. Uh, Nancy, this is normal. Uh, this is just a typical day, a typical show. Tell your 
friends. Uh, have them join in. We'd love to have them join in. Cool Jazz, I have a friend who is an avid Amazon shopper. We'll refer her to your site. Please do, Cool Jazz. Tell all of New York what to do. Uh, and all my friends in all the big cities out there, please send the link out to the world. Brucey needs help. <laughs> This is great. Loves to travel. I can never get my my safe to work. I followed the directions, but I still can't do it. <laughs> I, oh my! I, I for me, I finally figured it out. You know, you close the door, you set your pin number, and it's locked. And and, and then you open to open it, just hit your pin number, it opens. Uh, but uh, you know, sometimes there's just some of us loves to travel that just can't get it to happen. It's like the world is conspiring against us. Uh, I always have fun with those darn old lockers um, on the print. Is it even on Princess on Princess Cruise Line? They, you go to the spa and they have those lockers with those those four little numbers. They have the dials you have to turn. And I always ask myself, well, what four numbers should I put on there? You know, <laughs> that's the first thing in my mind. They're going, oh, what's the pin number going to be? Because if I forget it, oh, you know, I'm 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 going to put all my clothes in here. I'm going to be naked. And so, you know, I figured out, well, I'll just do three, 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 three. What the heck? So, you know, you, you set it, you put your clothes in, and you, cl you close. And I'm never sure if it works. And, uh, you know, I, I kind of like those things, kind of hate those things. Drives me nuts. I, I sometimes prefer, just just give me the thing around the, the wrist with the little, you know, the little coiled thing with the key on it. Just give me a key. I'll put it on my arm, and I'm fine. I'm in the steam room. I got my towels. I got my key. I'm good. You know, uh, yeah, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Steeman Bean is here. He's saying, I no longer overpack. There you go, buddy. That's good advice. Uh, Pamela Jordan, to, uh, take take sanitizing wipes to wipe down the room as soon as you get there. Everything that you touch, the remote control, uh, you know, the bat, the door handles, the sliding door handle, all that stuff. Yeah, they're, you know. Do what you got to do. Uh, let's see here. Nurse Nancy, I guess if you are going to bring along soda or wine, bring that in your carry-on as well. I agree, Nance, uh, Nance Nursey. Uh, nur uh, nurse Nancy. <laughs> Nance Nursey. <laughs> nurse Nancy, I agree. Um, you know, if you're allowed to bring uh, you know, these items on board, and in some cases, cruise lines, cruise lines want you to bring any of that stuff on your carry-on. So just read the information on the Q&A on the websites of the cruise lines. They'll tell you. Uh, what the rules are. Wes Morrison, on my last cruise, there was a passenger who did not receive their luggage for at least five days. So a change of clothes is important. Yeah. You know, the luggage can be uh, can be delayed for a number of reasons. One, if you're flying in, uh, but if you're flying in on day of the cruise, you're breaking the cardinal rule. You shouldn't be doing that. You really should be coming in the day before for your luggage and timing and everything else. Flight delays, cancellations, you name it. Uh, but you know, if the cruise line, if you gave your ba your baggage to the cruise line, uh, uh, you know, when you checked in and now your luggage doesn't show up in your cabin for four or five days, uh, they may owe you some compensation for some clothing. Uh, thank goodness there are, there are stores on board where you can always get something, you know, for, for the day. If you're at, then at port the next day, you can always pop into Freetown, Nassau, wherever you're going. I mean, Cayman Islands, you can always pick up something quick, quick, quick. For a, again, just another day, you know, it might be a T-shirt, might be some underwear, it might be some socks. I don't know, uh, just kind of get by, and uh, hopefully it'll work out. But five days, my goodness, that's crazy. John B is here. Potsdam, New York, is seventy-seven today. Getting colder. Last cruise we overpacked. I say no more. Not overpacking anymore. Most likely we will. <laughs> uh, you know, I I have to admit, I I leave it to Jen to 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 you know pack what she's got to pack and then you know jen will show me she'll show me how much room i have in the suitcase or cases for my stuff <laughs> and i know uh, i'm not a clothes horse you know i'm like i'm not like that guy in barney miller you remember the show barney miller they had the one detective uh, harris the well-dressed guy i'm not like that uh, i'm not like you know a clothes horse uh, so what am I going to bring on board? My polo shirts. Now I'm going to bring along my Traveling with Bruce shirts. Uh, some uh, some khaki pants, some shorts, my bathing suit, my flip-flops. I'm wearing my runners uh, with me probably on board, you know, on the, getting there. Uh, but, you know, I'm down to like a half a suitcase, you know. That's about – that's my room. I've, I've been told. I know I know what I know what I got. And then there's the carry-on. And the carry-on, you know, one set of underwear, pair of socks, uh, flip-flops, uh, trunks, 
and a few other items like you folks are mentioning here. And between the two of us, we're good to go. But I know who gets most of the room for the uh, suitcases. Uh, no question about that. Uh, D and G Explorers. Wow, Wes Morrison, that would be a nightmare to not have luggage for five days. Wonder if they were compensated with clothing. You got to wonder, you know, maybe they were given a cabin credit for a couple hundred bucks and they went shopping. Um, that would be the way to go. Loves to travel. I take several ink pens and the notepad. I'm always having to write something down. There you are. Uh, a lot of the cruise lines will offer you a pen and a notepad in the room, but sometimes they don't. So if you if you ever find yourself, you need something like that, just ask your room steward. or go to guest services. They'll probably give them to you. Uh, Peter Hackham, I just wanted to mention that you, uh, to, to you, that your video and audio is greatly improved. Oh, good, 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 good. Because I talked to the provider my internet provider the other day, I said, hey, uh, I'm a YouTuber here. I'm, I'm a hot shot YouTuber <laughs> with almost 2,100 subscribers. You got to help me out here. You got to help me like you helped Casey Neistat. You got to give me some clarity here, but we're, we're good now. So I'm happy about that, Peter. I'm glad, I'm glad the signal's coming in all right. Tracy Dunlop, Norwegian reimbursed port credit automatically when we missed a port because of weather. Wow, didn't expect it, but reimbursed on the final bill. Take it, take it. Um, like I said, I, I didn't get anything from Royal Caribbean. Maybe I should make a call. Hey, guys, I was on your ship like five years ago, and uh, never mind. Uh, Iskew Park. Hi, Bruce. It's Iskew in Thunder Bay, Ontario. It's very humid here, 95% humidity and light rain. Shows only 18 Celsius, but it feels like 30. Wow. That's something. Uh, your snow is gone now, uh, isn't it? <laughs> Got to be. Welcome back, buddy. Uh, Gregory Hartman, Carnival pays back the port fees since the company's not paying for it. Oh, oh yeah, okay, I get you there. Port fees, docking fees, that kind of thing. Understand. I don't know if we, and I, you know, I just don't recall getting a credit from Royal Caribbean. It's so long ago now, I couldn't say. Um, uh, Mary Ellen Shaw does the Oasis have to tender at St. Thomas and St. Martin? Uh, the answer should be no. I don't believe it should have to tender. Uh, St. Martin uh, has uh, quite a number of uh, ports, uh, beers, and St. Thomas uh, can usually handle up to four or five. So theoretically, no. Now, if the Oasis or Harmony of the Seas, or the big boys, these big ships, if they're ship number five out of five, they may not have room for that ship and they may have to tender, uh, but it would tender barely half a mile out, if that, maybe a quarter mile. And I doubt you'll be really in any waves to to worry about. But uh, as far as I know, these two ports uh, here's St. Thomas right here. Okay, this this uh, Explorer of the Seas, 1,100 feet long. It's almost as long as the Allure. Maybe another hundred feet for the Allure of the Seas. Uh, we've got from here all the way back here, and this here is 1,100 feet. So they could have an 1,100 footer here, one here, and at least another one here. And I think then on the other side, they can handle one or two more. So um, should be okay. I'm just kind of looking at my picture and uh, seeing what's going on. Uh, yeah, so those two ports are very good for uh, just being able to walk right off on the gangplank, right on the dry land. Love it. Uh, cool Jazz, did, did you go to the desk and ask for the credit? Uh, no, Cool Jazz. Uh, I don't recall I did. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, if there was a credit, uh, I've forgotten about it. Um, uh, and I was thinking more along the lines, not for the port credit, I was thinking more along the lines of uh, a portion of the cruise would be refunded because we didn't make it to Labadee rather than the port charges, which might have been 25 bucks, 35 dollars I don't even know. It's entirely possible that they credited my bill and I've long forgotten about it because it was not a big deal at the time to me. I'm just happy being alive. Uh, we made it through that thing. Mary Ellen, uh, uh, Mary Ellen St. Don's Family Travels just said, you can go to guest services and ask for port fees at least. Seems like you shouldn't have to ask. Oh, that, that And that, I agree with you, Mary Ellen. I absolutely agree with you. Um, cruise lines should be, and usually are proactive on this kind of stuff. If they have a, a foul up like this, uh, there, it's a good, it's a good news thing for them. It would actually make sense for the captain or the cruise director to get on the PA system and say, "Ladies and gentlemen, you know, we're so sorry about missing the port because of the weather, blah blah blah." However, uh, you know, uh, just want to let you all know, you're all getting a room credit for your port charges and everything else. That's to me a positive announcement to make, where the passengers going, "Oh." That's right. Yeah, yeah. We get that. Uh, we get twenty bucks back, or forty bucks a passenger, or whatever the amount is. Uh, to me, I'd, I'd brag about it. I'd, I'd bring it up. Absolutely. Gregory Hartman had 
had to on Carnival. Wasn't much though, like twenty five bucks. There you go. Uh, Iskew Park. We missed our Grand Cayman stop due to high winds. No compensation for the missed stop. They just cruised a bit slower to come in at Miami on time. Uh, was Carnival glory? Interesting. Uh, interesting. I don't know about. Uh, you know, again, certain ports. Uh, I don't know how this deal works. I just mm, and uh, uh, I'm not sure what to, to make of it. Uh, how how they do the credits and calculate uh, what some jurisdictions. Uh, maybe, you know, they charge, you know, maybe the Cayman Islands, you can't get it back. I just don't know. I'm not in that, uh, I'm not in their world, but uh, hey, I'd be, I'd be mentioning it to the front desk for sure. I would uh, definitely recommend it to all of you guys. Uh, let's see here. Um, excuse me here. I'm just reading, reading my messages, catching up here. Uh, Mary saying we missed a port due to weather on NCL last October. We had a credit for the port. Uh, we had a credit for the port missed without even asking. Okay, uh, Gregory, NCL did ours automatically also. Tammy Ray, here for a few minutes. Tammy, welcome to the show. We're talking about uh, what to pack on your uh, carry-on must-haves. We've been going over those items and a few other things. Um, Seakeeper saying, since the ship was on her way to Labadee, one of Royal Caribbean's properties, they probably didn't have to pay fees for docking there. Hence, no refund forthcoming. But I am old, and I may be I may very well be wrong. Uh, you could very well be right. Uh, this this could possibly be exactly why I don't have any recollection of this credit at all, and it being a big deal at the time. Gregory uh, Storms here in Tampa now. Oh man, uh, I agree with you, C Keeper, on that point. It's probably why there was no credit offered. Thomas Henry, at least. I can keep up with the chat here. Last night at uh, uh, Cruise Tips TV, that was way too fast. Yeah, that is amazing. When you get up to 40,000 subscribers or more, 20 times the size of this channel. And uh, I was watching uh, while I, uh, I was watching her as well. She had 400 people uh, watching live. Uh, I think when I got there, it was like 350 that moved up to 400. I have 44 viewers, according to my my meter right now there are 44 of you right here watching with me right now where she has 400 uh, can you imagine the speed of the, the messages right now i get to talk to you guys one-on-one -on -one, and i'm sure i can still do this even if we hit up to 100 but once i get over 100 uh, at a time i may have to read the uh, the longer messages <laughs> not the shorter ones or i'll have a moderator and they'll help me uh, help me take care of it but yeah uh, that uh, that was what was going on last night love to travel i have a night uh, i have nightmares about those number locks oh yeah <laughs> oh love to travel uh yeah combinations oh man pin numbers oh no peter had come up sanitizing wipes are a must they are a must on embarkation day we have seen the room attendants wipe down counters and mirrors with the dirty towels which were used by the previous cabin attendant uh, occupants oh yeah i just i just uh, kind of wiped my rear end there and left the towel in the shower now that guy's using that towel to wipe my cabin oh no i don't want to do that yes uh sanitizing wipes are a pretty good idea cool jazz for your pin use the last four numbers of your phone i mean there's all kinds of suggestions absolutely good one there cool jazz tracy dunlap forgot to mention that pam Lots of pat that Pam. Lots of hand sanitizer. I wiped on everything and carry it with me on board. There you go. Wendy Thompson corkscrew too. Don't forget the corkscrew if you're bringing along some wine. Yes, although my my uh, my better half Jen, she buys the wine with a twist top. <laughs> She'll be at Costco walking along the wild aisle, the wine aisle, looking for wines, and she's looking for two things. Well, three things, the kind of wine she likes, and two, the price she's prepared to pay, and three, it's got to have a twist off top. <laughs> I'm up and down the aisleway in uh, Walmart looking for caffeine-free Diet Coke because I can't buy it at Costco. So I'm buying this at Walmart uh, by the can. That's what I'm looking for. This is my vintage, and she's got hers. So. <laughs> uh, and Jordan Haybrews in all uh, and all happy Friday, um, 20, 22 today in Brisbane. Bird winter is coming. And Jordan, um, are you turning? Are you twenty two today? Uh, happy birthday to you, if that is the case. Twenty two in Brisbane, winter's coming. Uh, no, 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 it's not your birthday. I'm sorry, I'm reading this all wrong. I'm sorry, and Jordan. Uh, and and if you're older than twenty two, uh, you probably look twenty two. Uh, it says Hey Bruce. Uh, I think she went, meant to say Hey Bruce and all. Happy Friday, 
22 degrees today. That would be that wouldn't be Fahrenheit. No, it might be Fahrenheit in Brisbane. Winter is coming, or is it 22 Celsius? And you're you think 22 Celsius is cold? I I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> but and Jordan, happy birthday to you anyway, whenever your birthday is. And I'm sure you look 22 or younger. There you go. <laughs> Let's see what else we got here. I don't want to get myself into trouble on my own show. Goodness, goodness gracious. Cool Jazz says to me, you are on the you are on the bliss and your luggage still at the port because you never tipped the porter. Ah, there you go. There you go. If you didn't tip the porter, your bags just are a little delayed. How about that? Iskew Park, we always have one extra underwear, one, a shirt, a coat, socks, hat, shorts, swimsuit, and always all medications, documents in the carry-ons. Uh, hat, that's something else. I would recommend that when you walk on board the ship, wear a hat. You don't have to pack it. Just be wearing the darn thing uh, for the guys and the girls because uh, – a lot of Canadians, in particular Canadians, uh, we fly down from the winter weather down to Florida or California to get on a cruise ship to get into some nice warm weather. And, uh, you know, up in Canada, we wear hats to keep our ha heads warm <laughs> in December, January, February. Uh, but we forget that, you know, when you're going to the Mexican Riviera and you're walking around Puerto Vallarta for four hours on the beach there or whatever, or you're in St. Thomas or Puerto or, um, so, uh, Saint Martin, it's the sunshine's right up here. The sun's right here. There is no shade. Uh, you're way down south compared to Canada, and we forget all the time that oh yeah, we're getting a sunburn on the top of our heads and our shoulders and so on. So we, we sometimes forget the sunscreen. We forget the hats, um, and uh, some of us won't take more than one. But in any event, uh, wear the hat on board the ship if you can. And then when you get to your cabin, if you're staying inside the ship, and just leave your hat, uh, you know, in, in your room in the closet area and uh, wear it when you're going on the deck later and going on shore later. But yes, that is an excellent suggestion. Uh, thank you, Iskew, for that. Um, Mary Ellen, I don't overpack clothing, but the last cruise, I had way too much stuff. And I saw on the YouTube videos uh, what I have to have. Yep. Act more functionally, right? Nurse Nancy, I like to wipe down the counters and handles in the room too, even though I did this and washed hands a lot. I got the flu on my last cruise. At least it hit on the very last day. And that that's true, Nurse Nancy. If you're on like a seven-day cruise or a 10-day cruise and you catch the bug on the third or fourth day, it'll take maybe a week before it really develops. And uh, hopefully you're not going to be you know, suffering from it while you're on the cruise and, and you're, you know, suffer from it when you get home. <laughs> It's not fun anyway, but what are you going to do? Uh, cool Jazz, when Bruce blows up, he will need a sidekick to read the messages. I got one in mind. Uh, his name is Steaming Bean. I'll have the steamer read my messages for me, and then he'll just, you know, he'll be my moderator. Watch out. Uh, Alu Aluni. Alunai is here. Uh, Olani, how to pronounce my name. Olani. You see, I need your help so badly. Uh, here I am trying to read your name, and right behind your name is how to pronounce your name. Uh, it's terrible. Ola ni, how to pronounce my name. O la ni. It doesn't look like that, but that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> Welcome back. Yes, sanitize, sanitizing stuff is a definite must have. Ola ni, thank you for coming back. Tolerating my god awful pronunciation of people's names. Uh, Peter Heckema, see you later, Bruce, for tonight's trivia. See you, Peter. Uh, loves to travel. Speaking of wine, I heard on the radio that they have wine in cans now. Uh, I'm not a wine drinker, so I don't know about it. Um, yeah, um, I'm not sure what to make of that myself either. I, I, I find that just to be, you know, such a – I'm not a wine drinker, but I'm thinking can, wine in cans? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, my wife loves, like I said, the twist top bottles of wine. That's where she's going. And, Jordan, no, Bruce, it's not my birthday. I'm 42 years old. 22 is our weather. It's all good. <laughs> and, but you look 22. You know you do. Don't be fooling me. Uh, this is awesome. Sea Keeper. Ah, skim milk, pale winter Canadians burning in the tropical sun. <laughs> A couple hours out there, and we look like. Cooked lobsters, absolutely. We're all red. The red shine on our shoulders. Oh, yeah. Terrible. Oh, my God. <laughs> Olani is saying, uh, ouch, I always feel bad for the lobsters at the pool that first day. 
yep. Uh, when you're trying to get into the hot tub and you've got the stinging sensation, oh, it's not fun. It's not good. Um, Thomas Henry, safe, uh, safe uh, info. Cindy safe would not open the first time we tried on our last cruise. How embarrassing. Had to call guest services to get maintenance to open the safe. We had two safes, both with the same code. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, I guess sometimes they don't work and you have to get maintenance to fix them. Uh, Tracy Dunlap, maybe we will see Jen when you need someone to help you. Ah, yeah, you never know. A sea Keeper Wine and Can smacks of heresy, he said. This smacks of heresy. We can't have that. Un unforgivable. Uh, <laughs> you never know. All righty. Well, um, on my, uh, my carry-on list, I think... I'm just about the same as you guys. Uh, meds, of course, any medication you got to have with you, put in the carry-on. First day clothing, bathing suits, uh, footwear uh, for the first day or so. You should be wearing comfortable shoes when you get on the ship. So if you don't have your regular, you know, your other shoes, at least you've got shoes on that, you know, you can last the, the next couple of days. Your camera, your chargers, uh, your phone charger, your cord, for, you know, the cable for your telephone, all that stuff. Have it with you. Binoculars, bring binoculars. If you can put them in a carry-on, bring them in a carry-on. All your jewelry, all your valuables, tip money, uh, everything. All the documentation, of course, everything uh, must have. If you can bring with you uh, uh, in the meds, if that includes uh, your bathroom supplies, so, you know your razor and uh, that kind of thing, great. Uh, you don't need to bring on shampoo and body wash and that type of thing necessarily because, uh, of course, if you're flying in, you might not be allowed to carry that on a carry-on but uh, uh, the cruise line does provide uh, either in the spa area or uh, in your room usually they have been providing the, the soaps and whatnot but again it depends on the kind of room you're in uh, and again if you're on the cruise ship and you don't have shampoo you don't have conditioner uh, and it's in your check baggage and it's lost you can always go down to the main level the, the retail level and pick up some uh, small bottles of what you need for the next day or two and get tough it out and get by, right? Anyway, that's my suggestion for the carry-on. Uh, stories today that I was going to mention. I read today about uh, the Tokyo Olympics coming up in 2020, July 24th to August the 9th. Uh, Tokyo, of course, being a city of uh, 30 million people in the greater metropolitan area, um, massive. The number of tourists expected to come into to, to, to Tokyo, Japan, are to be are, are going to be huge, a record number of people. Tokyo's games, I'm sure, will be highly successful. Uh, would be I would love to see something like that myself. Uh, they've hired or they've already rented uh, the MSC ship called the uh, Lyrica. The MSC Lyrica. It's a 2,000 passenger ship with a thousand crew. That ship will be docked uh, full time in Tokyo for the Olympic Games. To help alleviate the um, the anticipated heavy booking of hotels in Tokyo, um, apparently there may be as many as two or three more ships uh, chartered for the games by uh, th either through MSC or other cruise lines. Uh, I know that uh, apparently the the Tokyo Olympic Committee is in discussions negotiations for additional cruise ships to act as floating hotels between July 24th and August the 9th, 2020 for the sum summer games. Um, Vancouver did it. Vancouver for the winter games. They brought in a couple cruise ships. I believe Seoul might have done it. Uh, and I think Barcelona might have done it too. Um, even Athens, I think, did it as well to bring in, bring in cruise ships to uh, literally – act as floating hotels. Um, I don't think I'd mind being on a cruise ship uh, rather than a high-rise uh, building in downtown Tokyo. I don't think I'd mind it a bit. It's just the only logistic I'd wonder about is the ability to get to the venues efficiently from the ship. Um, I know I can easily get to Olympic venues in Tokyo from a hotel in Tokyo because Tokyo's mass transit system is world class if they can handle 30 million residents they can handle a million tourists like us no problem they can add us in there so uh, that should be quite uh, quite amazing anyway that's uh, something that uh, that's coming up london might have also used uh, floating uh, hotels uh, for for their summer games I, I think there were a couple of those as well the other news i read up about today a little more detail on was uh, ritz carlton 
the Ritz Carlton people are building uh, what they are calling super yachts for their uh, for their cruise line. They're calling it the Ritz Carlton Yacht Collection, and uh, they are um, um, building a ship right now that will be uh, available uh, for its first cruise. I believe I wrote that down somewhere, or maybe I didn't. Um, I think it's that in, in the next year and a half or so. Anyway, 149 suites will be the uh, the size of this uh, ship. Oh, yeah, the first sailing will be February the 5th, 2020. Feb 5, 220. That's less than two years from now. They will be running ships. The first cruise, the inaugural, will be out of, my, out of Fort Lauderdale for a Caribbean. Ten-night cruise. Um, excuse me. Um, the starting price for that ship, $7,900 U.S. a person. For a 10 night cruise um and uh, you'll be in a suite for sure because that's all they've got they've only got suites with ocean views and private terraces the um the 7900 fare will include uh all of the following um you will have a dedicated dedicated person to service your needs your assistant for your suite in other words you got a butler and uh, they'll take good care of you. I'm not sure how many suites the butler looks after. I don't think they have 149 butlers. I, I don't think so. Something tells me that on the owner's suite, you, you, one butler for one suite, that's the end of it. Uh, for your suite, uh, for 700 bucks, maybe you're sharing your butler with one or two or three other units, but uh, you'll be well attended, I'm sure. It includes all gratuities. The ship will have multiple dining venues, all included. 24-hour uh, in-suite dining. So if you like to have dinner in your suite, the suite will be large enough to have dinner. Maybe you'll have it on your terrace. Maybe you'll have it inside. You can order breakfast, lunch, and dinner in your suite and enjoy. Your butler will take care of you, I'm sure. Um, 20 hours in suite dining, all beverages in the suite and on board the ship. So, caffeine free Diet Coke, all you want, Bruce. Add gin and her wine or a beer or a mixed cocktail. Just order it up and enjoy yourself. You've already paid for it. On board entertainment, of course, so will be provided. They're talking about, um, they're talking about something called on board. <sighs> Onboard experiences, I think, is the term they're using. I want to, I want to basically say what they're doing is they're hiring speakers, um, seminar type speakers, uh, specialists about uh, wildlife, or you're heading to say uh, Saint Bart's, and uh, they'll have a person who's all familiar with Saint Bart's. We'll do a spiel at eight o'clock uh, tonight while we're at sea until nine o'clock telling you what to expect tomorrow in St. Bart's on your outing, that kind of thing. So they're, they're talking about uh, uh, those kinds of uh, additional uh, um, people coming on board, free Wi-Fi, of course, unlimited Wi-Fi. And uh, they also will have at the back of the yacht a marina-style platform with access to all kinds of water sports. So they'll have the, uh, the wave runners, the jet skis, uh, they'll have uh, snorkel gear, scuba gear, all that available. There's a helicopter on board the yacht, at least one, and there's a pad, a landing pad, up towards the front of the yacht. So you'll be able to do special outings. When this, uh, this, this ship and the others that are coming, the sister ships, they'll be all over the planet. And they will have ships in South America. They'll have ships towards uh, the uh, Arctic or Ant Antarctic. And you'll be able to take the helicopter to uh, the ice flow or to the shore, check out the penguins, or they'll have the zodiacs, which they'll inflate, and uh, 10 or 15 or 20 of you will pop into a zodiac and head for the shore and uh, go exploring. So uh, uh, this, uh, this uh, cruise line is for the high ender. It's six star luxury, uh, Michelin trained certified chefs. Uh, we're talking world-class everything and, um, yeah, you're paying for it, but you're getting it. Um, and this will be a cruise line that will be uh, unlike uh, others. Um, but, uh, Feb the 5th, February the 5th, 2020 will be the inaugural. I can guarantee you guys that between now 
and next uh, two years, February, we will be inundated with advertising, uh, with artist renditionings of what the ships look like uh, from the outside, from the inside. We will be given all kinds of uh, 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 material on it, uh, all kinds of promotion on it. Uh, they'll have the uh, christening of the ship, the the god father or godmother will be named there'll be there'll be all kinds of promotion same thing goes for virgin voyages uh they are coming out in 2020 with a much larger ship i think 2100 people no one under 18 allowed on board i don't know what the rule is on ritz carlton it might also be adult only um but we're going to hear a ton about these ships uh just like we've been hearing for the last several months all kinds of press on the symphony of the seas all kinds of press on the horizon, the Carnival Horizon, and now we're getting all kinds of press on the Norwegian Bliss. Uh, look for that exact same thing on uh, uh, on these ships here with uh, with with Virgin Voyages and with uh, with uh, Ritz Carlton Yacht Collection. Uh, should be fun. Uh, should be kind of neat to watch. Uh, let's see here. Uh, cool jazz. Richard Branson is getting into cruising also with Virgin. There you go. Scott Batchley, the box is bad enough. Cans. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wine in boxes, wine in cans. Nurse Nancy, does anyone have any other parking options in Miami other than the port? All I've heard is port or hotel, park and stay. Any referrals? Anybody out there from Florida can uh, help Nurse Nancy? Let us know. Scott Batchy, of course, the answer is Tokyo. Uh, that's right. Tonight on Trivia, the answer has got to be Tokyo or Bakersfield. Those are the two standard answers for every trivia question. You guys can join us at 8 o'clock tonight. It'll be fun. Nina is here from Sweden saying, Jen is an early, uh, Jen is an early video about 10 tips for newbies by Bruce. So when is this? Jen is an early video about 10 tips for newbies. Uh, she's sleeping. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, Nina Frank is saying, if you want to see what Jen looks like, there's like, you get a glimpse of her, like a little glimpse on my number one video, top 10 tips for new cruisers. The one that I made on October the 10th, I think it was, that's the video that just hit a hundred thousand views. My number one video. Uh, it says that she's sleeping on the couch. So run along, uh, all know and find that video. And today you have seen Jen, even if Bruce is doing a good job of hiding her. <laughs> I think you get sort of like you get to see this. Like you might get a, a little if you want to take the time to try to find. But if you want to see Jen in real life, well, it's going to be on a meet and greet cruise. Uh, and as soon as I have one, you'll know what it is, and we'll get together on that. And Jordan, those Virgin ships look expensive. I think 2020 they're coming out. Uh, yeah, they're coming out in 2020. Um, I, I, it'll be interesting and uh, to see how much they will charge for their cruises. Uh, we know for sure Ritz Carlton will be 400, 500, 600 a night and up. I'm sure uh, there are ships out there now with with uh, Crystal Cruises and uh, Region Seven Seas and Seaborn uh, and a number of others. C C uh, uh, I can't remember them all. Uh, they're up there. They're three, four, five hundred a night. Um, I don't think Virgin will be that expensive, but uh, you know we could be in that 150 to 350 a night depending on the class of room. We'll find out. Uh, we'll also find out how well Virgin sells out. Uh, if they don't sell out those cruises, uh, you know, after the first three, four months, bookings drop off a bit. The prices might come down. We'll have to see. Uh, <laughs> Nina Frank, Tracy, and all curious. Peter Heckema, uh, Nurse Nancy, uh, try Premier Parking in the Port of Miami area. They have shuttles from the parking lot to the ships. Mm, how about that? Right on. Check it out. Tracy Dunlop. I will do that. Nina, thanks a lot. Uh, loves to travel. Those uh, those uh, go-karts on the Bliss look like they would be fun. They do look like a good time. I'm hearing nothing but good things. Jim Zim loved them. Uh, our gal at uh, Cruise Tips TV, she enjoyed them. Uh, cool jazz. Nurse Nancy, if you stay at a hotel, their parking might be good. Uh, Thomas Henry, if Bruce got a short buzz cut, he could be my double. Uh, I always uh, wanted an older brother, only about three years. <laughs> uh, I don't know, Thomas, a brother from another mother. I don't know if that's a good idea. Uh, <laughs> Nina Frank, exactly. And yes, we are looking forward to that meet and greet so much. Me too. I too am looking for that meet and greet. All we got to do is get you guys on Amazon through my link and hit that Amazon uh, uh, affiliate link and shop until you drop. And uh, throw me dough that way. That would be great. Uh, and uh, 
of course, you know, buy these items and uh, send me donations. It all adds up. It all comes to the right cause. Uh, one way or another, Bruce gets on a cruise ship with Jen, and here we go. <laughs> Nurse Nancy uh, at Peter Heckham up. Have you ever used them? I have read bad things about premier parking with not keeping the car safe and parking and parking them off the lot during the week. Um, interesting. Uh, you know, I don't know, uh, Nurse Nancy. Um, uh, good, good question. Uh, if any of you have used them, let me know uh, or let us know uh, how how do they stack up uh, from a security point of view, quality, that kind of thing. Look, if they get a lot of bad reviews, uh, they're going out of business. Uh, they can't afford it. People talk, uh, especially on social media like this. Uh, uh, we do share and compare notes on something like that. Peter Heckman, we have used premier parking several times without a problem. There you go. So uh, uh, there you have it. Um, uh, but yeah, some of the hotels in the area, they're more than likely they have deals. Uh, stay with them a night and they'll give you a, they'll give you a deal. Uh, cool jazz here. Uh, here, Singapore Airlines resumed their longest flight from Newark. 18 and a half hours. I think they're using a, um, is it an Airbus uh, uh, A350 that's been modified for the, uh, for the occasion? Uh, or was it a 787? Um, uh, that was uh, quite the flight and it's back up again. Nurse Nancy, good to know. Thank you, Peter. Uh, yeah, this longest flight in the world uh, was at one time on an A340 aircraft, four engines, but only 132 passengers is all they could take because they had to have extra fuel tanks and they couldn't load the passenger compartment up to the max. So they just had business class in that whole plane to take that 18 and a half hour flight. Now they're trying to do it with a, a mix of business class and premium economy and economy uh, on a uh, on a different plane. And I think the plane is an A350-10, the stretch version with the fuel tanks and whatnot. I'm, I could be wrong on that, but I had read something about it. Uh, love, I love talking about stuff like that too on my on my show. Don't talk about airlines all that much on the on the telecast here. We seem to love to talk about cruising, <clears throat> but uh, I know Singapore was looking for the right aircraft to fill the niche to get from basically New York to Singapore nonstop. And uh, Cool Jazz thinking it's an A three fifty as well, uh, which is a twin engine plane uh, made of composite materials and capable of flying an unbelievable distance and keeping the uh, con uh, the passengers in the passenger compartment at 6,000 feet elevation because of the pressurization, uh, which really helps with the jet lag. Very good. Peter Heckema is saying, uh, Nurse Nancy, just to mention their lots are located, uh, they're locked at night with security cameras. We have never had a problem. Loves to travel. Count me out on that 18 and a half hour flight. I'm out. Not doing it. You're not getting me on that thing. No way. <laughs> It amazes me nowadays how many flights are existing today that are 14 hours and up. There's a ton of them, just, just a ton of them. Like around the world, there are flights available now that long or longer. It is truly amazing. Uh, uh, let's see, uh, Nina Frank, dough is my problem too. That's why you must use your good negotiating skill, Bruce, as a big guru. It was a big group, actually. You, you, we should be able to get all such, sorts of perks, maybe even discounts in, in the spa. If we go as a group on a, on a meet and greet cruise, cool jazz. I love rail travel. Also, we can talk about that too. I love rail travel, high speed rail in Europe. My goodness. Uh, that is something I want to pursue um, uh, further. I've had the pleasure of high speed rail in Germany, France, and I've done the, uh, the run from Paris to London through the channel. Fantastic. I love that train ride. Jen loved it too. It was great. Very comfortable, uh, fast, and uh, just like being on a plane. Fed us a meal with real knives and forks and dishes and everything. Loved it. Um, ice trains in Germany, unbelievable. Uh, the speed, the efficiency, quiet, smooth. Oh, man, that was something I would love to be on a high-speed rail in Japan. And now China. I would love to do that as well. I was looking at a cruise the other day. Where I noticed uh, there was a cruise that uh, de departed from, uh, uh, started in uh, in uh, Shanghai and ended, uh, I think in Singapore. I, I, I might be a little off here. But anyway, I noticed that and um, I thought, wow, that'd be a cool cruise. And then I thought about how to get over there. And I'm looking for a decent deal on the, uh, on the airline uh, deal. 
And I thought, geez, Bruce, you know, I can fly from uh, Vancouver, Va Vancouver in Canada, Hong Kong nonstop, or from Seattle or San Francisco, Los Angeles, all the way to Hong Kong nonstop each way. And I thought, just take a round trip ticket to Hong Kong. There's all kinds of flights, all kinds of deals. Uh, 1100 Canadian bucks, I can fly to Hong Kong round trip. And uh, stay in Hong Kong for three or four days. Take the high-speed train from there to Shanghai. Now, there you go. And then get on the ship in Shanghai, if that's where it starts. And then if the sh the cruise ends in uh, Hong Kong, great. If the cruise ends in Singapore, you fly back to Hong Kong on our regional flight and uh, fly home from Hong Kong. And uh, I thought, wow, you know, what what an experience uh, to get a, or an Asian cruise in, get a high-speed train ride in, have the flight in. Oh, fantastic. That would be, that'd be pretty cool. Cool jazz. Wine was screwed top either. <laughs> Wine was screwed top either. Laugh out loud. <laughs> yeah, Jen loves the loves the, the convenience of having the screw top, but if she remembers her uh, corkscrew, then uh, you know, Jack, Bob's your uncle. You're good to go, um, and then you can whine either way you want. All righty. Um, any other questions? Please fire them in now. Thank you for thumbs ups today. How are we doing on thumbs ups? Thirty one thumbs ups. This is fantastic. Thank you everybody for my for giving me thumbs ups today. If you haven't given me one and you'd like to give me one. Please pop one in there and bump that number up. We love it. Thanks for joining me today. 36 viewers are still here. Awesome stuff. I find that my channel, the views start right, right away. They, they level off a little, and then they go higher, and then they level, and they stay right across almost to the end of the show. It is fantastic how many of you uh, stick with me for the whole episode. I love it. Helps my watch time numbers and uh, love the engagement. I'm on tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern for the second show. So it's now 6.14 Eastern time. I'm on an hour and 46 minutes. Trivia tonight. I've got questions here for you guys. Uh, we've, I'm not even going to tell you what they're about because I'm not giving you guys any hints, none whatsoever. But I can tell you I've got already one, uh, two, three, four. I have six trivia questions tonight. I'm going to have you guys uh, just spinning with answers. You're going to be throwing me Tokyo. You're going to be throwing me Bakersfield. And I can tell you right now, uh, I don't know if that's going to help you because uh, uh, I don't think Tokyo and Bakersfield is going to going to work tonight on tonight's answers. So you'll have to just come by and find out for yourself. But uh, uh, Jack, cool, Jack. I'm stuck on Bruce at work. He said, "Gregory Hartman trivia." Gregory Hartman USA. <laughs> I look forward to having you guys here tonight, uh, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Thanks for all your support of my channel, everyone out there. Thank you for checking out my store and looking up my merchandise and grabbing some of these items. Thank you for your super chats. Thank you for your donations to my uh, to my PayPal. Thank you for uh, 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 Patreon. And thank you for visiting my Amazon link. Tell everybody you know, everyone you don't know, you got to go through Bruce's link on Amazon. Help this guy out. He needs a cruise bad. We want to do a meet and greet with this guy. There's only one way to do it. We got to get them enough dough to be able to afford one. So that's what we're going to do. The answers are coming in here. Norway, Thunder Bay, Philippines. Everyone's guessing everything. I'll be home before 8 p.m. Cool Jazz is saying. Uh, ma Mahalo loves to travel. Uh, and Jordan, yes, trivia. Always great to see you then. Tokyo is the answer. I'll see you guys in about an hour and 45 minutes for Thursday night primetime trivia, 8 o'clock Eastern. Pop on by. And thanks again for all your uh, your support, everybody. Uh, looks like I just got some more thumbs ups here. We're at 34 now. Thank you for that. And uh, I'll look forward to seeing you at 8. This is Bruce with Traveling with Bruce saying thanks for joining me today on my May 31st, 5 p.m. show. Tomorrow, it's June. Can you believe it? I'll see you at 8 o'clock in an hour and three quarters for primetime trivia. Take care, everybody. We'll see you a little later. <laughs>